Hey guys, it's Lydia if you're new here. Hi, welcome to my channel. And if you're not the welcome back to another one of my videos. Right now, I have 25 minutes to get ready for a photo shoot. Me and my best friend do a fall photo shoot every single year. I'm picking her up and the photographer at five o'clock and right now it's 4.35. I just finished blow drying my hair. I haven't styled it yet. Obviously I need to fix my face here, but I just ordered a bunch of new clothes because my birthday's in October and me and my friend did book tickets for Sabrina Carpenter next weekend. I don't 100% know what the plan is for that. I was like, if we're doing this, if it doesn't fall through, if everything works out, I want to like my outfits. And if not, I can use them for my fall photo shoot. Right now, I'm going to speed through my makeup. And I honestly am so excited. I've been looking forward to this all day. I ordered some dresses for my birthday. I'm actually like really lucky that my reading week falls onto my birthday week. So everyone's gonna be free. No one's gonna have exams or anything. I'm going over to my friend's house today to paint pumpkins. So it's Friday night. Nothing hits like getting ready for a little fall photo shoot and then ending the day painting pumpkins. Can't wait to show you guys my outfit. I think I'm gonna bring two. I did just order an Aritzia top. So I think I'm gonna do that. And I got these big knee high black boots. And I think I'm just gonna do like very natural makeup and like dress it up with gold accessories. <laughs> my makeup always looks so funny to me when I just have eyebrows and concealer on because I look so pasty white. But bronzer really does bring everything together. And usually when I'm getting ready for like a photo shoot, I will overdo my makeup because in person, it looks crazy. But in the photos, it looks good. So that is kind of what I'm doing for the bronzer. I don't want to look like a little ghost girl in my phone. This time last year, I kind of like, I always notice from September to uh, September to December, I usually kind of fall off of my routines. It starts getting cold, it starts getting really dark here early. And I saw this thing on TikTok called the winter arc. So it's where all the girls are like hyping each other up to not basically fall into the slump and to stop putting off like your new year's resolutions in to January and to keep on track and kind of reset your goals in September instead of trying to force yourself to throw back into a routine basically adapt it now so you don't have to like basically make a huge change and start I've, like actually started implementing that lately so basically it's like read more stay on top of your school obviously get your 10k steps have a consistent workout routine and eat healthy and stop over consuming and overspending. That is what I'm currently working on and even just getting outside, like I really hadn't been going for walks over the summer at all. I forgot to put up mascara, I was like, why do I look so weird? Over the summer, I really wasn't going on any walks and I've been really intentionally trying to make sure I do get the 10,000 steps. And that honestly, it's shocking how much of a difference it makes and just how I feel at the end of every day. I find I sleep better. I'm drinking more water. It just like anytime I'm stressed, like going for a walk or run really is that thing that makes me feel better. If you're looking for a challenge or something, definitely like look, basically just think about like resetting your goals and readapting them for the fall season because it's really easy to get discouraged. I don't want to say flop or like fall off track, but it is that time where it's like you kind of lose your motivation, I guess. I need to focus while I do my mascara. Okay, so makeup is done. That took me six minutes. I'm actually really impressed with myself. Considering I'm working with 20, we don't have much time. So I'm gonna do my hair next and we're gonna pick an outfit and paint my nails and pick accessories. Okay, hair is done. Oh, I hate it. I just realized I missed a giant chunk here. I have 10 minutes before I have to leave and we need to pick an outfit. So I'm gonna insert a photo here of what I have for like the vision of the shoot. And so I'm thinking about doing these black boots. I'm gonna do the Chanel bag. Obviously the self-care essentials. We have my summer Fridays, iced coffee, poppy, my Valentino. I feel like this would be cute as like a prop and I always bring it anyways. Obviously I need my lip liners. I'm gonna do gold earrings. And then I'm thinking these bracelets. I just filmed that in time-lapse, but I'm thinking either 
this white cargo skirt or this black leather mini one but i feel like the black leather mini i wore it last year and i think it might be too much the boots and then this is the top i have them gonna wear so we're gonna try both outfits on and see what looks best i'm just not having it say my tripod it just literally when i tell you crumbled to pieces as i went to show you guys of course it's when i'm in a rush i think i like it with the leather skirt to be honest i thought it was gonna be a little too dressy i kind of actually do like it but with the boots is it gonna be too much i already know it's too much so we're gonna try the cargo skirt i'm gonna have to quickly fix my hair because i don't know when it flattened in the past five minutes no i like the leather skirt more i do like the leather skirt more i don't care if it's too much it's cute oh i don't know guys i wish i wish i had an opinion right now because part of me loves it but part of me likes the leather more i just feel like i'm not gonna like the way my hips look in this in photos and this one's just way comfier to be honest so i think this is the winner i feel like this is so fall but i feel like it's just so dressy i don't know what do you guys think i just feel like i'm going to a club if i'm being honest and i'm going to take fall photos in the leaves so i don't know how to feel about this but Okay, so Aisha's actually wearing the same outfit, so it kind of works. So I'm just doing like really light accessories. I'm just gonna do like the two bracelets and the hoops. But yeah, cause she's wearing the same thing. I feel like it actually kind of works. So it'll be cute and I'm actually excited. You're only young and hot once, so. Because I feel like this would go really cute together too. I'm running so late, but I just love the lighting in my living room so much. I'm gonna miss this apartment. <laughs> Let's go get these pics done. Okay, we're ready. You look so cute. You look so beautiful. <laughs> okay. Finally, we have matching hair. We do. Okay, so we're going to pick up the photographer now. It's like golden hour. Uh -huh. So this is like the perfect time to go. So he's five minutes away. So we're going to go pick him up and we're going to the same spot we went last time. Oh. And I also brought this. Because you're wearing like little sweaters. So yeah. Can to kind of go it off. off? It's like a little tank. But like that's so cute. Where's it from? Where? This? Literally Old Navy. Ah! Literally I got this in a whim in like a panic last year. I haven't seen myself after I got ready. So I'm like constantly like, do I look good? She's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so look at this tree. So we're taking our own photos first because I'm running out of the car field. <laughs> dressed up we went to this i don't even know where this is it's kind of like a park it's cute though i don't know if it's private property i guess we're trespassing okay so we decided to have a quick intermission of us having cute <laughs> girly pecs first yeah and we need to go get the photographer all right we have the photographer <laughs> Thank you. 